24CH premiere. 24 hours before everyone else. Only with the Bell TV app. It's uh, here, Lars uh, grew up on this uh, road and uh, a little bit or more over this road because it's a blind road that we played uh, a lot of hockey. They were playing with his older brothers there, so they had a lot of fun out here, day in and day out. And uh, yeah, it was a very good time for us. My dad lives in, in, in Breeze Hockey 24 hours a day. He's coaching one team, he's managing another team, and he's uh, He's commentating on, on TV on the side, so he, he's involved in every single way you can be, and you know he, he loves it, and you know it's been his, his whole life. He was only one and a half year. He could speak, he could walk, he went to the rink very often. He's always been um, very supportive, uh, supportive of me, but he never needed to to push me in, in any way, because a matter of no time, I I got to love the game, and it came very natural to me. Lars, he got some influence from, from me and his older brother because we also played hockey and, and his dad too. Wanting to be where they were at and, you know, being hopefully even better and seeing what they accomplished and, you know, just following their footsteps. He wanted to be a goalie, so he got a glove. We have a lot of fun with that with the ball at home. As a kid, I thought, you know, the mask were cool, their equipment was cool because it was, it, was, it was different from the rest of the players and I collected tons of ca hockey cards with, uh, with Patrick Guara. His team was a very good team. So when he was in the net, there was no shots. We won every single game. It was 10 nothing, or you know, there wasn't a lot of shots in net, so that got boring pretty quick. He quickly found out it was more fun to, to score goals, so uh, he stopped being a goalie and, and started being a center forward instead. I was last teacher for about 10 years. I started in the first grade, and he left us in the ninth grade. He was a very good student. He was very competitive. The hockey players didn't have the best reputation at my school for, for some reason. So when I came in, and he, uh, <laughs> I was going to be a student. He thought, oh no, another hockey player. He was a handball guy and a soccer guy, and he taught those things on the side too. So he's like, hey, you should play, you should play these sports instead of hockey. And thinking of NHL at that at that time was, you know, that wasn't even that wasn't even in the picture. I think he chose hockey because he was so much better at it. In hockey you can sc he could score five goals every game but but not in soccer and making big hits and stuff like that. that I know he liked that. We used to play a lot when we were younger. I'm uh, 27 years old and I, I play professional football in uh, Lindbergh Park Club. Me and my cousin Liza was uh, best friends growing up. We would spend uh, we spend our whole childhood together. Me and Lars would compete in everything. Like we would compete at tennis, soccer, hockey, PlayStation. We made a promise to each other when we were kids that uh, if uh, one of one of us was not going to make it, then uh, the other guy would take care of him. But uh, fortunately, both of us made it to uh, to the professional level. <laughs> that was good. It worked out for both of us. So every day, he took his bike, went to the rink, went on ice on his own, just practicing on his own. He was in at the rink uh, day in and day out. Many, many hours every day. Lars played in the local hockey club and I found out he was playing on three teams because one day he was on the podium three times. He was champion of 12 years old, 14 years old and 16 years old. Lars Eller as a player back then, uh, obviously he was very skilled. If you had like 10, 15 guys like him, it would be a dream come true for a coach because he was coachable and he listened and he wanted to improve himself all the time. Brian was uh, always a very strict and, and disciplined coach. He really made people compete against each other. So he made every practice a competition and, and not just going through the motions. The thing that made Lars Ella outstanding is that he competed with uh, Mikael Botker. Who plays with the Phoenix Coyotes right now and they were playing on the same team all the way up through the, the junior years. Mikkel Bütke and Lars forced each other to be fantastic players. There was so much competition between them, who made the most goals, who scored the most, most points this season. I couldn't have them playing in the same line because they wanted to score both and made the points and, and they wouldn't give the puck to each other, so I have to put them in separate lines. I honestly think if, if we didn't have each other to compete against, then we probably wouldn't both of us wouldn't be in the NHL today. It's obviously something when you think back on it, it's, it's pretty impressive that, that we, we both came from, from such a small country and, and we, we 
we both made it out of there, but, but I'm, I'm sure without his help I wouldn't be here either. So it's, uh, it's, it's something that, that goes a little bit beyond a friendship, I think. Uh, we had to play the World Cup in Quebec City, and first we went to the Bell Centre in Montreal and went to the locker room. And last, uh, he got the pictures of uh, Saku Koivu's uh, booth down there, and we were talking about oh, how much fun it would be to, to actually be there and play in Montreal. Uh, and then suddenly, five years later, something he was there, so that was a big thing. But having your own brother playing in the NHL, and especially for the Canadians, one of the original six, it's, it's the greatest thing you can, you can ask for. He loved being in Montreal, and he. He's talking about it all the time in a very positive way. So it makes me proud to have been a part of uh, La Cela's uh, hockey upbringing, or had the privilege of co coaching him when he was a young. I'm proud of it. Living ice hockey the way he does, that's uh, I can't imagine uh, a more feeling of, of pride than, than that. It's amazing. You can't uh, ask for more for your kids. He is doing what. Uh, what he wants, what he likes. J'espère que Lars uh, pourra aider le Canadien à gagner le Stanley Cup. Go Habs, go!